Hi, this is Andrew from TS for Tech, and today I am taking a look at this Otterbox Symmetry case for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now, I just did another quick unboxing and quick first look review slash whatever you want to call it of the Symmetry case for the iPhone XS Max. This is basically just a same version of that case for the Galaxy Note 9. So, take a take a look at that uh, review or unboxing if you want. Um, the one thing I'll note is that this OtterBox case is slightly different, even though it's the Symmetry series. It seems a little bit different from the iPhone XS Max in that the inside of this case does have like a rubberized texture. Now on the iPhone case, the Symmetry version of it, it's kind of like a more hard plastic there and it does not have kind of this rubberized feeling inside. So kind of interesting that they're different in that way because I would assume that all the OtterBox cases would have be made the same, right, in the Symmetry series. Um, so I'm not really sure, I'm not really sure. And the other thing I noticed right away too is this has a bigger lip. This has a bigger lip at the end, kind of like that little whoop, up, <laughs> upward um, jump there. And that might be because of just the, the way the glass wraps around the, on the Galaxy Note 9, and it needs like a little bit of a bigger bump to keep it from, you know, hitting the table or whatever, or just, I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll pull up my phone here, I guess, so we can take a check, take a look at it. Now, on the other video with the iPhone, I totally screwed up my dbrand skin. I had the dbrand, uh, I think it was called the matrix skin on there. And when I stuck the phone in, I screwed up the edge. So I basically ruined the dbrand skin uh, on the iPhone and test. So I'm going to be a little bit more careful here um, so that I hopefully don't mess up this dbrand skin. Because those things are like 12 bucks a piece and I don't want to keep ruining them. But Basically, you can see, all right, so here's the cutout for the cameras and the fingerprint sensor and the other, uh, you know, the other sensors for reading your heart rate and all that kind of stuff, blood oxygen level, all of that. And, you know, it fits pretty snug, fits pretty nice. I do have a screen protector, glass tempered glass screen protector on here, which I will also link to because this one is actually really nice. It's from AM Film uh, and it works really well for the Galaxy Note 9. I've had a couple of these because I've ended up breaking them or whatever. So that's a nice screen protector and it works well with this case, right? So it doesn't interfere on the edges or the top or bottom. So again, this is very, very similar to the iPhone case. You know, has its pretty decent cutouts. All the buttons feel like still like they work well, right? And they have positive feel to them. Cutouts on the bottom all are very accurate. Your pen still pops out fairly easily and all of that. And again, right, so this is this is a kind of a in-between case on the lineup that OtterBox offers. It's not an in-between, it's kind of the lowest level of protection because it's a single piece case. The commuter series starts to add protectors on the, you know, flat protectors on the bottom. And then the other, I forgot what the, the rugged, most rugged case is called, but that offers like the two piece rubber insert plastic out outside and all of that. Um, but this one is a really good slim case, still get the OtterBox name still get a decent amount of drop protection because it is, you know, it's more substantial than a thin skin type case. And overall, I, I really like OtterBox cases. Again, matte-ish type back, uh, backing on here, so it's not super glossy, it's not super matte, it's kind of in between. I would say this is more like a semi-gloss kind of look, rejects fingerprints pretty well, um, oils and that sort of thing. So again, um, I'll link to this in the description if you want to take a look at it. It's the OtterBox Symmetry case for the Galaxy Note 9. This is Andrew from TS for Tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>